nice time of day. Five, five fifteen Sunday evening. Look at the beautiful backdrop here. Not bad on the riverside. Lovely cruise boat. Sailing by. Hello, hello, hello. They're enjoying it. They're enjoying their evening. How nice is that? Families, kids, parents, loads of people about, as you can see. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely to walk here this time of day. Every, every day, really, every evening, I do this. And I love it. Because walking is the best form of exercise you can do for free. It's easy, it's super good for your body, for your legs, for your cardiovascular system, for your heart. Healthy heart training because it doesn't release any cortisol. The walking also protects your bones, joints, because it's not high density, high impact uh, movement, but it's, a lot, it's enough impact that it strengthens your bones, gives you bone density which avoids osteoporosis which is of course when bones start breaking down you want a boat, no i don't need a boat i'm in the middle of a video see that's the problem for some of these people here they uh interrupt you even though they see that you're doing something as a tick the tuk tuk drivers and the the boat the boat uh, what do you call them promoters anyway not to worry that's just the way it is Okay, I'm just going to turn the camera around so you can see. We're coming up to the Royal Palace area up there where the flags are. So we'll walk up there together so you can see that. There's some lovely cute ladies taking, hello, taking photos for Instagram or TikTok. Huh? Isn't she beautiful? Wow. Say hello to me. What are you doing it for? Instagram? Instagram or TikTok? TikTok? too shy I don't think they I don't think they speak English that's okay most many many do many don't it's hard to tell so uh, but I try to talk to everyone or just be friendly to everyone at least try <coughs> because that's who I am I'm friendly handsome Rob yeah that's what the girls call me handsome Rob so I'm proud to say to be able to say that I think they work they even work here on Sundays. It's crazy. Not <laughs> the, the service industry people. These are regular construction workers. So even some banks are open on Sundays until six o'clock. It's, it's incredible. Oh shit! Oh, oh, almost hit me. Anyway, so we're walking up towards the royal palace. Here's a little market area. Well, what do they sell? They sell mostly. See. Some fruit and stuff, not much. And as you can see, lots and lots of people, lots of local people out enjoying the Sunday, sitting by the river, having dinner, snacks, talking, drinks, whatever. Just, but as you can see, it's all locals, and there's hardly any or any foreigners at all. I I'm quite surprised because normally. There's plenty of around. I don't know. Well, uh, there is a bit of an explanation to that. Uh, well, there are plenty of foreigners in Phnom Penh, or expats here, that, that live here. They don't tend to, even all the tourists, they don't tend to walk around much. They tend to spend most of their time in bars drinking. That's the problem. So they're either at home being lazy, or they're in bars drinking, especially on a Sunday in the sports bars watching Australian football or whatever instead of exercising. Very few, I see very few uh, foreigners like myself out walking and training because I live here on the riverside in an apartment and I go out every day three to four times to walk and then I do my training sometimes outdoors as well in like an outdoor gym um, and I'll go to the hotel as well where I do my swim training and some, some weights. Uh, pull-ups and dead deadlifts and things like that and then steam so anyway look here we come here we go we're arriving now at the royal palace area which is over there 
then you can see the entrance to the building there, which is always always locked unfortunately. You can't get in, I think. The grounds are huge, it's like two massive blocks of houses and palaces palaces and whatnot. But you can't, you can't get in. Um, you can go to the museum, but you can't actually go into the the, 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 uh, the, the Royal Palace. And you can see behind me, behind there, is the bigger building. So anyway, that's where the king, the king and the royal family live. Here's a Buddhist shrine. So people come here and burn little uh, fire sticks to pray to, to pray to Buddha for happiness and health and wealth. See so they're lining up to go in to this shrine which I find is absolutely lovely. And they're also they're also giving flowers, giving plants. You see? One by one. It's a very interesting ceremony. So one by one they light these these little burners. Then they go and make their prayers, their wishes. After that, they put them in this pile here. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but one day I want to do it too. Yeah. So that's that. That's a little walkabout of this, of this area. It's beautiful. It's cool. And that's why you should definitely come to Phnom Penh. And when you're in Phnom Penh, come, come to the riverside. Stay around here. It's fantastic. So much space. So many things to do. So many places to see. Fantastic restaurants. Local restaurants, very cheap, expensive Western restaurants if you want that. But anyway, that's it. More about Cambodia in the next video. And also some fitness stuff coming up soon too. All right, speak to you soon. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Rob's Health Crunch. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. There is more great content on the way from me about Cambodia, health, fitness, wellness, real healthy food, and great lifestyle habits. Remember to enable notifications so you'll know when the latest video is posted. Until then, here's some other great content that I think you'll enjoy.